news. She said to pick her up, but that's a bad call. Tie me. I don't want to. Hey guys, my name is Erica Namu Ethany here, and welcome to another day, another vlog. So today is Monday. It doesn't really matter what day it is today, but I just wanted to tell you guys that today is Monday. And I'm getting ready. What? Child, I've been up since 6 a.m. and right now it's about 7.34 and I need to hurry the fuck up because I'm gonna be late for school. Anyway, I'm getting ready for school so you know what that means. We're gonna get ready together and I'm gonna show you my everyday regular schmegler makeup routine, okay? I have different makeup routines for different occasions and like, I don't know, everyone like the way I do my makeup to go like to school is not the same way I do for dinner and stuff, you know. I dial down or up the game depending on the occasion and today I'm just gonna show you exactly how I do my makeup for school every single day. So first things first is prepping my skin. Um I do cleansing, um toner, moisturizer, and then sunscreen. I always have to apply sunscreen underneath my makeup because sunscreen is very important. Like, yo, the way the sun hits nowadays, hmm, it's intense. I cannot even. Like, the sun nowadays is so strong. And sun is basically the biggest aging factor. So, I always make sure I have my sunscreen down to my neck and this is just the foundation of my makeup. If I look like I'm, high, I'm, I'm rushing through it, it's because I don't have enough time. <laughs> and today is the day that I wanted to film this. I am not going not, I'm not going to not film it because I'm late. Uh, I'm late because of my own fault. I was transferring some raw footage from a video I shot on Saturday that I think I'm gonna edit it as well. You know, <laughs> I was just doing some morning stuff. Anyway, so my skin is prepped and ready. Now, when it comes to my makeup, I do like three, four steps, okay? Not a lot of steps, not a lot of steps at all. So first things first, I always start with my Black Apart Concealer, True Beauty Concealer. Now. I don't know why the casing for this went, it's somewhere in here. So basically, this is my foundation. Like, I never really use foundation on my face. So this is what I take as foundation and I mostly focus under my eye. Cause that's where, that's where tired always shows. Even if you're not, like, under the eyes, like, intensively important to use like concealer and stuff. So that's where I begin. And then I just drag the product to the rest of my face without adding any more products. Just the one that I've taken, I just drag it down. Just create some base on that. Just a little like that. And I also use it on my eyelid just because. And then I'm going to do that on the, same, on the other side as well. I found like I had a lot of trial and error to see like what's the best way I can do my makeup effectively and quickly every single morning because you really don't want to do a full face of makeup for school unless it's like a major event but just a regular everyday school thingy it's really not advisable to do like a lot of makeup well, some people do it. It's just I don't really have the time. I'm always late, so. Even when I wake up early, I somehow manage to be late for everything. Now I'm gonna go in with this brush that I just fluff around and, you know, bl and blush and mix everything together. It doesn't have any product in it. So that's perfect to get rid of any excess. And you know, spread it out evenly to the rest of my face. Just like that. 
Now, some steps on my makeup routine are quite weird, okay? And you're about to see just now. Because I believe that makeup, hold on a second before my towel falls. I believe that makeup is multi-purpose. Like, I get it, it was created for one thing, but just like brushes, it can, it can do several different things. So, with that said, my next step is blush. Because I like to have some color on my face as I come out like. And the what I use for my blush, it's quite unorthodox, but I use my Teal Savage <laughs> lipstick from MAC. That is what I use. It's very pigmented. So it basically because I don't really like my um mini my what is it called? My blush kit is really not that pigmented. So I just use lipstick to give the intense color on my face. Mm -hmm. Using this thing is kind of like a little too bright. Hold on. Let's bring it down a notch. Yeah. Basically I use it. I use this lipstick because as you can see it has quite a lot of pigment in it. And that's the goal to have pigmented blush. Plus it smells nice, so yeah. You have cute little rosy cheeks. Everyone wants to have rosy cheeks. Some people come to them naturally. But sweetheart, I'm dark skin. <laughs> Even if I blush, you never see it. I don't get color on my face and I'm scared or you know, blushing or something. Never have color on my face. Except the already color that I have on my face that is melanin. Anywho. So I do a little bit of that and also I do a little blush my nose because you know yeah I watch a lot of Korean drama and they always have blush on their noses anywho that's that now we're heading over to almost our last step now really next we're gonna move in with my if I can find it oh it's right here with my Black Opal True Color um, Ultra Matte Foundation Powder. This is this is it. This is what I use. This is basically what ties in my makeup. I use a generous amount, mostly under my eyes and all around, like not directly on the blush. I basically go through the places you would traditionally bake that's where I go I go on with, uh, my foundation powder it's basically having for me I feel like this is basically having like a full beat without actually doing a full beat works perfectly so perfectly I go all over. I even cover my eyebrows and eyelashes with it because you know, I haven't done them yet. Speaking of it, the other step is doing my eyelashes and eyebrows. Now, here's the weirdest part of it. I do my eyebrows with my mascara. Like I said, I'm trying to maximize the time I have because for me, I always have a 10 minutes. It's basically a 10 minutes makeup routine. And that's perfect for on the go. And sometimes I use this when where I'm going is really not that important, but I also want to look put together. So I use this makeup look. It's multi -papas. So I always make sure I always make sure that my lashes are also popping because I don't use fake ones. I don't understand how people have conversations when they're doing the lashes. I just I cannot. So after I have roughly done my eyebrows and eyelashes, I I go back in with my Amuse Contour and Define Kit and I use a blush powder now. So I use a blush powder on top of my cream powder. <laughs> Just, you know, to pop the color even more and to set it down even more.
I don't use a lot of it actually, just minimal, 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 minimal. I think my dad would have a TikTok and I'm for it. Okay. Don't forget the nose. Always remember your nose. Because when you are doing your blush, also your nose blushes. I don't know why. And then I take my blush, my blush, but my brush, the fluffy one for the powder, without any product on it, and I just go through my entire face, just you know, oops, except my eyes. That was a mistake. I never go with, I never do it on my eyes again. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go dress up. I'm gonna finish this ensemble. Okay, so now that I'm fully dressed and I've already had my breakfast. I kind of had to because I cannot really complete my makeup look without actually taking my breakfast because I'm going to mess it up. I'm trying to open this mouthwash and it just does not want to. And I always use my mouthwash after like my breakfast <clears throat> because I always have like my teeth already brushed so the only thing to do is use a mouthwash that you know fresh has. Anywho. <clears throat> Let's finish my make my get ready with me. It's time to do my hair and final touches in my makeup. I am like it like when my hair is done because I just have you know a little work to do to get it all ready. So all I have to do is I spray this gel on my hair. Just so that I can give it a nice fresh look. Because of course it gets somehow tangled when I sleep. So I don't know. I need to fix that. And I'll just do a little bit of this. Just a little. And some more. Because you know. Never have enough spread. This is basically all the final touches I do, and then I use my Dove Sensitive Fragrance from the what? Fragrance Free Deodorant. Sometimes I like this spray deodorant more than the gel one. In my opinion, it holds more. I did my dance one time and a little spray just to get my ensemble ready. I love this. This is Innocent by Rosassi. It is, it smells so good. So freaking feminine. I, I cannot. I am obsessed. This is probably my new fragrance. It's just, it's so good. I can't even explain how good it is. That's how good it is. It has no explanation. <clears throat> okay. That is done. I'm literally rushing because I'm out of time. I am out of time. Then I'm going to use my Fenty heat gloss fancy beauty heat gloss which is running out i need to buy a new one i have a lot to restock on but not right now <laughs> that's just the final part of my makeup basically gloss and basically that is it i don't know if i want to do earrings today and what kind actually i don't think i want to i don't want to do i don't want to do I'm going to move for earrings today. So basically, that is about it. That is basically it. That is how that is how I get ready in the morning. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The last part of this video is a mess. Clearly, just because I'm running out of time. Don't have enough time and I am running out of it. 
running out of time. I am running, running out of time today. today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what more you want to see on my channel i need to leave because i am late okay i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye